Hey everyone, welcome to Doctor Who Collectors Year One and welcome to another Doctor Who Collectors Year One video. Enjoy. Okay, so recently I just ordered some figures from Forbidden Planet. I ordered um the whole of Wave One A. I'm still currently waiting on them coming, but um today I went into Brayhead and I picked up the three figures that I need. Um Straight Jacket Doctor, Idris and Uncle. Um I doubt I'm gonna get uh the other uh, the other variant of the silence, um which is the wave one B variant, uh, the more darker skin tone, because personally I think the more um, peach skin tone variant, the wave one A variant is better, and I just think it's a waste of money. Um, so yeah, um, so I'm just gonna go and get these figures opened, and I'm gonna show you what they look like. Okay, so that's me. Just got the figures out the packaging. Um, I'm going to basically talk to you about them, I'm going to tell you what I like about them and what I don't like about them. So yeah, it's not really a review, it's just more or less an update and just my view on what I think of the figures. So let's start with Doctor and Straightjacket. Now, I feel like this isn't the best character options figure that they brought out. Um, a lot of people said the uncle figure is the most pointless figure in um, these two figures, but I have to disagree with them. I think the straight, uh, the, the straight jacket doctor, is the most pointless figure in these three. Um, because I feel like we just had the Stetson variant doctor out. I mean, come on, there are enough eleven doctors. I mean, they could have, they could have gave us a, a, um, a Rory figure instead of this. But here, a figure's a figure. Yeah. Um. Then we're gonna move on to Idris now. Again with this figure, I don't feel it's a pointless figure because she played, she was a key character in the episode. Um, but I do feel it's not one of the best figures character options have came out with. Again, um, again, it's the face sculpt's not really all that good. Neither is the hair. I mean, the rest of the figure's good, like the corset and the skirt. That's good. Um, but it's just, I mean, I don't know if you can really see it with this camera, but the face sculpt doesn't look much like what she did in the episode, doesn't look much like Saran Jones. Same with the hair. Um, but she, the only reason I guess this figure is so popular is because she played a key character in the episode. So yeah. Um, last but not least, um, the uncle figure. This comes with a detachable head. I've heard this is quite hard to get on and off, so I'm not going to try with that. Um, and I also felt that the little, little, um, little accessory here uh, that he's holding in his hand, I felt that I felt that that was quite difficult to get on, sort of stand. You know, it kind of drove me crazy at one point. But yeah, um, finally got it on in the end. Um, yeah, I think this is a really nice figure. I think it's definitely the best out of the three. I feel it. It does look like him, not entirely, but it, but it's not. It's not terrible. It's not. It's not as bad as uh, the. Idris figure. I feel like it's got likeness to him. Um, it's a nice sculpt, and yeah, I feel I feel like it's um, a nice figure, the nicest out of the three of them. So yeah. Thanks for watching this video, and goodbye.